Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Sydney if you are new to my channel. Today I am doing an A Goldie denim shorts review. I have been really on the hunt for some good denim shorts for the summer because it, denim shorts are just like denim jeans. They're just so hard to find a really good pair that fit you, that are good quality, that you feel really confident in. I know sometimes like I feel self-conscious wearing shorts, so I really wanted to find a good pair that fit me really well that I can, you know, feel confident wearing all throughout this summer so i'm really excited to show you guys i got the a goldie parker shorts so those are going to be the shorts i'm reviewing in this video and i got two sizes um that i'm going to give a little size comparison on so i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and let's go ahead and get right into it and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out so much and if you want to keep up with me in my everyday life you could always follow me on instagram at sydney rakasner i always have a link down below just in case you want to check it out so let's go ahead and get right into it okay so these are the a goldie parker long shorts they are the long version of the a goldie parker shorts they have a long and a short version this long version is a four inch inseam and i think that the short version is between like a two or three inch inseam so these are longer which i love i feel like short shorts just aren't for me i feel like they're just not for a lot of people. So I love that these ones are longer. They hang all the way down and cover your butt completely so you don't have to worry about like bending down and just like being self-conscious or anything like that. Um, and these are the size 28. So this is going to be the first size that I am sharing with you guys. They retail for $128 and they are 100% organic cotton. So they are definitely a little bit steeper in the price, but if you're anything like me, I only need one pair of denim shorts because I don't really wear shorts that often because I'm not that confident in them. So I definitely would rather have one pair that I love and feel really confident in than have like a bunch of pairs that I don't really wear at all, if that makes sense. And the wash on these is the Parade Light Indigo with Distressing. That is this light denim color. I feel like a lot of their washes look really similar but these are called the parade indigo they're just like a really nice light but almost leaning more medium they're not like a light white they're a light medium wash and i love them i think it's perfect for summer so again this is the size 28 and i feel like a lot of people have a lot of mixed feelings about the a goldie sizes and just like a lot of opinions on it and i'm definitely one of those people but if you look on a goldie's website they kind of break down the sizing for you and on their website their size guide has a 27 listed as a size 4 a 28 listed as a size 6 and a 29 listed as a size eight and so on so according to their website if you're a size six you should get a size 28 so that is what I ordered and I definitely would say that with these shorts they are true to size I definitely wouldn't size down to a 27 I have the size 29 that I want to show you guys just so you guys can see a comparison as well but I'm a true size 6 I'm about like 150 pounds I'm 5'7 and I sometimes will size up to a size 8 just depending on what it is because I do have like a tinier waist and bigger thighs and a bigger butt but I do think that the size 28 is really great um I can fit the size 27 but for shorts I don't want them to be tight I'm just like over things being tight and I feel like a lot of people are too but just like a good rule of thumb is if you can you know run your fingers all the way around the waistband then it's pretty much a good size for you and with a goldie I do think that they I don't think I know that they stretch a lot these will probably stretch between one half to all the way up to a full size and just the more that you wear them the softer they become the easier they are to put on and they just like really mold to your body so if you're between sizes i definitely would recommend that you take the lower size versus the higher size so you guys will see in a sec obviously what the size 29 looks like but I am blanking on the name of this wash, but I will say it when I look it up before I try on the other size. Um, but I really love these ones. A Goldie has such a beautiful set of washes. Their jeans are just truly unmatched and their denim is just the best quality like I've truly ever seen. I've owned Citizens, I've owned, you know, Mother, Seven, all of those jeans, AG, and these just 
blow all of those out of the park so these ones are a little bit distressed which i like i don't normally go for any type of distressed denim these days but for the summer i think that it's pretty cute they have two front pockets obviously and then there is a button fly which i love that just makes me feel like it's a vintage worn in pair of denim that i was like lucky enough to thrift but i wasn't obviously i bought these but it kind of gives that vibe and then since it's distressed it has like a little hole right here which is really cute this would actually like came not with a hole but whatever when i put them on it kind of got a hole in them and they are raw hem so i always recommend with raw hem that you wash them and hang dry do not put your raw hem items in the dryer because they will get ruined they would just like fray up and just stick out and look crazy so that's the only issue i have with these but for denim shorts i wouldn't want them to be like a traditional hem i think the cut off is what makes it really cute so these are them from the front um on the model she definitely has them fitting a lot differently on her she has like a lot of space in between like the end of the jean and her thigh but on me they're pretty much like tight all the way around um so i'm hoping again that with where these are going to stretch out a little bit um, and i can kind of get that same look that the model has but these are them from the side really nice because there is no gapping back here um i mean there's a little bit of gapping but i don't want them to be so tight so that when i sit down i feel like i'm like literally gonna throw up um and then on the back there's just the two obvious pockets um and then also what i love about a goldie is that there's no back branding there's no butt branding it's just like a traditional nice denim no branding i love that so it's just like really modern and minimal um and then it obviously covers my butt really well like if i were to bend down nothing is showing and i don't have to be worried about that at all so um i definitely would recommend that you take your true size in these and you just wear them in and they will truly like become a part of your body and mold to you and be the perfect fit okay so these are the size 29 i'm not sure if you guys can tell how much of a difference there is on camera but there definitely is a very big difference between these two sizes but i do still love the fit of these size 29 um i feel like i would need to get them tailored because there is some gapping in the back but i just love that they're so loose they look effortless like they just look really casual so i'm hoping that the size 29 will stretch or excuse me the size 28 will stretch to look like the size 29 um but again the most area that i can tell the difference in is in the crotch area and then in the waist area um and then the thigh not too much of a difference so if you're worried about maybe like your waist your tummy area right here or your thigh i would recommend then you take the size up because that is like the main area that i see the biggest difference in um since i do have a smaller waist i'm able to do the lower size because i think that that's where like the biggest difference is but if i sit or like kind of walk i have like this much excess material on the shorts which you don't want that because eventually i'm gonna have to get them tailored because they are going to stretch and they're already 128 dollars which is a steep price point for shorts so i don't want to then again pay like 30 dollars to get them altered or anything like that but if you're similar to me but you just have like kind of a different weight distribution these could work for you also really well but if you are more similar to me in terms of proportions the 28 is definitely a lot better um but this is what they look like from the side and then in the back there's quite a bit of a gapping and what i also notice is that for the other ones they kind of come a little bit more on your butt so they're a little bit more flattering kind of like that versus these ones have a lot of excess back here but again, I could be happy with these, but I want to make sure that I'm not ordering things that are too big because it just ends up 
obviously not working out in the end so unfortunately these size 29 are gonna go back to the store um, i got both of these from nordstrom but they sell them on Eagledy's website intermix revolve aritzia a whole bunch of websites so hopefully you guys can get your hands on these before summertime starts and they all sell out because they will sell out in a lot of the sizes because they're such a great pair of denim so overall i definitely recommend these parker shorts i recommend the long ones over the short ones if you are similar to me and you just want to feel comfortable in shorts you can throw them over bathing suits and just like not worry about anything i definitely recommend getting the long version of these um i think that these are the best fitting kind of like silhouette or shape that they have the D's are really great also, um, but they're really hard to find a lot. They're just like constantly sold out. Um, the crisscross is just not for me. It's not flattering on me. I feel like the waist doesn't do too much for me. Um, and then they have like the 90s Bermuda, which is so cute, but it's not like an investment that I want to make, you know? I want to invest in like a timeless pair of shorts and i feel like those are really on style and on trend right now and if i had an outfit idea in mind i would buy those but i wouldn't really consider those to be like a staple in my closet versus these i truly think that they are the wash the light wash is perfect and it can really go with anything and i'm so excited to wear them this summer i definitely definitely recommend that you guys get them if you can get your hands on them all right you guys that was it for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i definitely recommend getting the parker shorts and i will always have everything linked down below and all my sizes and everything just in case that you missed it but again don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me i've got a lot of exciting summer fashion content coming up um, but again thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye